Hello, wellness friends. Thank you for watching today. We're at Manor War Golf in Lexington, Kentucky, and I'm honored to have uh, Brad Backend, Bashand, Bashand, who is the director of golf here at Manor War. And we're going to see something really cool today. It is Robo Golf. Now, Brad, I know about Iron Man. I know about uh, the Terminator. I don't know about Robo Golf. So, what is this thing that we're uh, yep. we're looking at here today? So, Robo Golf is pretty cool. You basically just hold on to this golf club okay and i can make this golf club go wherever i want so whatever we want your swing to do on the machine i can make your swing do it okay now stop me if i'm wrong but athletes sometimes if you try to explain to them what to do they have a hard time getting the concept <clears throat> i just happen to be one of these people that if you can show me what to do. If you can actually make me feel what it's supposed to do, I'm pretty good about catching on. Is that what this is sort of meant yes, to do? Absolutely. So sometimes in trying to explain something, we can get our wires crossed. I put you on this thing and you feel what this golf club is doing. You're going to sense what it's feeling and it's kind of fun. I'll ask people as they're doing it, what does that feel like? And they'll tell me some pretty crazy stuff that I would never tell them, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you feel is what you feel, and we've gotten some pretty incredible results with it. Okay, so give me a, an example. Has someone that you've been teaching for a while that maybe has improved or they're maybe at a plateau and you've put them on this, has it taken them from that maybe plateau to the next level just because they were able to feel exactly what they were supposed to feel? Yeah, absolutely. So probably the biggest thing that we've seen with this machine, the consistency, the better contact, and actually pretty good gains in distance. Oh, really? How fast they can swing and how far they can hit it. That's a selling point. Yes, for sure. <laughs> um, so I've never seen this i've never heard of this are there a lot of these out there or is this uh... there's probably only 20 maybe 30 worldwide at this point okay so you've got one of the few yep that's here um how long have you had it we've had it for probably just a little over a year and a half okay is this a very popular tool that you use now is it gaining popularity we don't use it a ton we definitely use it it depends on what the player's problems are okay so this doesn't make you move your body a certain way. Okay. It only makes you move your club a certain way. Right. So anybody that's having a hard time moving the club properly, but they're moving their body fairly well, we're gonna put them on Robo. Okay, okay. Well, I tell you what, Brad is going to put me on the Robo Golf machine and show me how it works and check in here in just a second and you can see me on the Robo Golf machine. Okay, Brad, so do I have to get in the Iron Man suit? To, nope, you can just be just like you are, and all you're going to do is just set up to that club just like you would with one of your own clubs. Okay, so we're just going to come up here, take a normal, normal take stance, normal normal, stance yep. just like uh, like I'm hitting a 7 iron or 8 iron or whatever. Yep, so that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so, so everything's in the right position. So now I'm just going to take you through in slow motion each one of the positions. And if you get there and you feel something funny or something's uncomfortable, just kind of say, hey, that feels a little funny, but okay. this should be pretty good for you right here. All right. Well, there's perfect little takeaway. Okay. And at that point, that club should be a little bit like this. So Robo does not control the club face. Usually. Okay. So that would be a square club face. Perfect position. Now we're going to go up a little farther. Perfect. Top. Whoa. Okay, so when you're right there, you'd probably just want to turn your chest a little more towards uh, it. Okay. Yep. There you go. And obviously, while you're doing this, we're looking down at the golf ball, right? Right. Okay, now we're coming down. This is the one everybody tells me feels a little different, so this is really keeping lag. Then we're going into the delivery zone, and then the club releases. Boom. That's where the speed comes from, right there. Then we're going into the follow-through, and you just let yourself turn and let your weight go to your front foot. Well, that's just a little slow-motion version of the swing, so we're going to go back to setup. Okay, so let's do it again. Okay. And this time I want you to just keep your eyes down there at that golf ball. Okay. Just feel what's happening here. Okay, good. 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 Yeah, that's really good. Go 
The only thing you would do different there is let that right foot come up and get all the way turned to the finish right there. Yep. Like that? Yep. Okay, so this time we're going to do it where it doesn't stop. Okay, so okay. I felt the swing that was not my swing, and it, it was almost every segment that the machine stopped. I could, I could honestly say my swing doesn't mimic any of that. So every segment was different. Yes. But what I noticed the most is when the machine started down, how it kept my wrist angle and I was moving toward the ball, yeah. but my wrist angle was still here. And I can almost tell you without a doubt that when I'm swinging, as my arms start down, I, I can tell you my yeah. wrists are starting to uncock. Yeah, so we call that early release. Okay. So when this machine is making you maintain that angle, the word for that is called lag. Okay. And this thing is really emphasizing lag. And that's where we get more speed or that's more distance? More Better contact with the ball where we're not hitting it fat and thin and definitely hitting it more in the center of the face and the golf club going faster. Okay, well, it's the sensation is like anything I've ever had. Uh, I mean, it's just so strange to feel what you're supposed to do and then realize that that's not what you're doing. Right. So I, I think that's where this thing is very valuable is the feedback that I, I get that says, okay, now you don't do that. This is not what you normally yep, do. Absolutely. Okay. All right, so now we're just going to go through it. It's just going to take you in one motion up to the top. It'll pause for a second, and then okay. it's going to take you through the follow-through. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. And it just brings you back to the finish. And I can set this to go faster right but i like this speed this speed i can still kind of feel what i'm doing yeah but i put it on its fastest speed all of a sudden it's just kind of moving yeah and you don't really know exactly what's going on yeah i think this speed is good because like you say i can feel where the positions are i think i might even if you put it on a faster speed i think it might even worry me a little bit like you know i want to bail out i want to let go uh can i keep up with the machine kind yeah. of yeah. thought but um very, very interesting, very interesting. And I would assume that when when people have done this for the first time, they're saying a lot of what I'm saying right now. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And we get a lot of different comments as to what they're feeling. Right. And there's no right or wrong answer. We know they're swinging correctly. So whatever they feel, I'm like, great. When we go to hit balls, I want you to feel that and think about that. But the real idea of the machine is you do it enough that when we go to swing with our own club, you're not really thinking about this. Right. You just kind of do it, and we're letting the machine kind of build the muscle memory and see if your mind and your body can make it happen. So we're doing this for, for the podcast, but so when you're giving somebody a lesson on, on RoboGolf, do you, do you go out and hit balls first and then say, okay, let's go down and do the RoboGolf and then do this forever? How long yes. and then you go back out and hit more balls is that kind of how yep. you do this yes. so we'll watch them hit their own club normal shots and we're kind of watching to see what's happening then we'll take a video of their swing kind of show them where the errors are okay and then we're going to come down and set robo to correct those errors and then we can show them what their good swing i'll video it right. and show them the difference between what they were doing and what Robo's making them do. Right. We'll stay on this for a good 30 minutes, just getting the repetition. Right. And then we go back out and hit balls. Okay. And we'll video it again and show them the differences. Okay. So when you look at the video and you see the original swing and you see the the improved or the Robo swing, can they can they see just a, a massive difference in the way that the body positions it are? It depends on the player. Okay. So the worst player is going to see it. Okay. We can see pretty big differences. But sometimes in golf, as the instructor, I'm not even looking for a big difference. I just want a couple of things to get just a little more tightened up. Right. And you usually, we can see it. Right. Well, so Brett, thank you so much for having us out here today. It's a man of golf, Lexington, Kentucky. And if you're interested in getting a lesson, what we'll do, Brad, is we'll put all your information in the description below. Just click on that. If you want to get in touch with Brad or one of your other pros here that's uh, able to use the, uh, the RoboGolf, 
give them a call and come and try this and maybe you'll get some feedback like I did today. So catch you next time. Thank you.